Hey guys, this is Michael from Cocker Chemistry. In this video, we'll be talking about how to identify the Lewis acid and the Lewis space in an acid-base reaction. Let's start off with the definitions. Lewis acids are electron pair acceptors, while Lewis bases are electron pair donors. That means that Lewis bases are going to give up their electrons, and then the Lewis acids are going to accept these electrons. Easy way to determine which one's a Lewis acid is that Lewis acids are typically either positively charged, or they will contain an electron deficient atom such as boron. Boron tends to form just six valence electrons, but instead of the full octet eight valence electron. Lewis spaces, on the other hand, they will tend to either be negatively charged or they will contain a lone pair. Let's now identify the Lewis acid and Lewis space in each of these following reactions using these guidelines. So in the first reaction, we have a reactant of a boron, and we see that the boron has just three bonds around it instead of the four bonds that most atoms like to form. So then we know this is an electron deficient boron, so this is going to be a Lewis acid. And as a result, this other one must be the Lewis space. The water has the lone pairs that can donate to the boron. In this next one, we see that Ag has a positive charge, and as a result, this is probably the Lewis acid. And in NH3, this does have lone pairs if you draw the Lewis structure, which means it's a Lewis space. Or you could just, if you identify one, then the other has to be the opposite. So if we know one is the acid, the other has to be the base. In part C, once again, we have a boron. So this is going to be a Lewis acid. And in this fluorine, it's going to be the Lewis space because it has the negative charge. And then the last one, we have the iron, which has a positive charge, which means it's going to be a Lewis acid. And as a result, the water is also going to be the Lewis space because it has these lone pairs. Lastly, I just want to show you how the accepting and donating of electrons work. So let's maybe take a look at, say, C, and we'll draw the Lewis structures. So the Lewis structure for BF3 is that you have boron with three fluorines around it, and each of the fluorines will have six lone pairs. And then we have another fluor a fluoride ion, and this just has uh, four lone pairs around it. So what's going to happen is that the fluorine, the fluoride, is going to donate the electrons and give it to the boron. And as a result, it's going to form that new bond between the B and the F, and that's why now there's BF4. Great, and that's how you can identify which one's the Lewis acid and which one's the Lewis space in the acid space reaction. If you want to learn how to ace chemistry, if you want to learn what's the best way to study for this class, if you want to learn some neat tricks and tips to take into your exam and do better on them, then you should head over to my website and get this free guide, uh, 12 Secrets to Ace in Chemistry. You can head over to www.conquerchemistry.com slash chemsecrets. I'm going to include a link in the description below. Check it out. I think it's really going to help you and you're going to you're going to like it. Until next time, keep working hard and continue the good work.